The 12 Days of Christmas Season 9. You know, I could start this video off in the usual traditional way saying, wow, I can't believe another year's gone by. It's crazy. But no, I just want to thank you guys for being with me for another year. You know, the channel turns 10 on December 28th. This show just turned 9. Crazy thoughts, right? And you guys have been with me every step of the way, even if you haven't been you know, here watching my videos since 2015. If you just started watching yesterday, I appreciate you. So glad we're all here, able to come together as a community every holiday season, cherish this season. Everybody, it means something to everybody these days. I never would have thought that would have happened. Like people make their own 12 days of Christmas shows on their channels. That really warms my heart. When I was 12 years old, 13 years old, came up with the show in a very low budget type of way, just reviewing a couple cars on my turntable, putting the little logo on the thumbnail, super low budget. I had no idea it would become such a big deal. I'm so glad it has. It really is a special show, very wholesome. I'm so glad you guys have been here to see it grow and evolve. And thank you just so much for your support, really, truly. It's you know another great year for the channel. And I want to also announce in this video that I will be changing my channel name to Mr. Docket soon. Not sure exactly when, but soon. I've dropped a couple hints, like my channel, like the handle, the link is Mr. Docket, my Discord name is Mr. Docket, and my TikTok name is Mr. Docket. So that is where we're going. Hopefully that will be the last channel name change, and I'll have new art and all that good stuff. So yeah, that's coming. But obviously today, day one of the 12 days of Christmas. Couldn't be more thrilled to be diving into the snow here, absolutely jumping into it and reviewing four factory custom chrome characters very different like all these cars super different from each other i can't draw any comparisons and the suggestors today are spark the race car and jalen robinson thank you both very much for the suggestions i do appreciate it i hope you enjoy this video and the rest of the season now, i want to say if you don't get a shout out during the season do not fret it's okay i appreciate your support nonetheless a lot of people probably won't get suggestions or shout outs but i certainly will try my best to count and cover as many people as possible like for this video i recommend it in my initial post which is on my community tab if you didn't see that definitely check that out you should have gotten that if you're subscribed to me it's just like a usual notification like any other video i took a bunch of suggestions and i gave like a list of like yeah i would probably like these are some good ideas for you to suggest back to me like i would highly recommend that and spark the race car and jalen robinson were the only people that suggested these chrome cars which is something that i knew i would review something that i got this year they were made this year i believe as well and i think it's you know a great way to start off this season you know, I did a great job, honestly, not to pat myself on the back or anything, but I reviewed almost everything, like literally that came out this year in terms of like the 155 scale diecast line and the mini racers and the color changers and all that good stuff. So that doesn't leave much for me to review for the 12 days of Christmas, which originally started off as like a year in review. Like I would re-review things. I remember like re-reviewing JW or stuff like that back when they did 12 series every year and it would make sense to take like the best car from each series and re-review it. Don't do that anymore because I thought it was a little boring. So now I always review stuff I haven't reviewed during the year, like new stuff. And over the last couple of years, it's really taken on new life and it's become something very, very different and unique. Reviewing cars that most people don't even know about at this point, like very just random, odd peculiarities, stuff like that. And that you know is really what we're starting off with today. I'm sure most of the people have not seen these cars before. What are you doing, Mater, with the candy cane on your roof there? Get that out of here. That goes on the tree, my guy. All right, guys. Let's start off with Cho. So Cho, of course, is from Tokyo Mater. I'm sure you guys have all seen that short. If you haven't, it's my favorite Cars Tune short. Highly recommend it. And here is your regular Cho. So now to give a little bit of background on these factory customs, I think they are made in Mexico because there is indeed a Mattel factory in Mexico. It's the only non-Asian country in which Mattel produces their merchandise. Pretty interesting. And so I think that is where these were made. I got them from a friend of mine in Mexico. 
I should honestly inquire a little bit more about where they come from, but to me, it's like, I don't care. I just want the car. They look awesome. They're weird. They're edgy, and that's why I like about them. You'll probably see my face in this video, you know, and back before my face reveal, people, you know, whenever I would review, like, stuff like this, they would go, oh, my God, face reveal at, like, 505, you know, <laughs> and now I'm sure people even still do that because they don't know I've revealed my face, like, 16 times, but, yeah, chill looks awesome here. Obviously made using a regular Cho. So it has like the plastic part. So that would be the mouth plate, the eye insert, the spoilers, the interior piece, the tires. And yeah, that's pretty much it. Yeah, that was it. The metal base itself was replaced with a chrome version of it. And it's like the mirror chrome. It's not just silver. It's like reflective mirror chrome. And it's really awesome. Like, look at that. So cool. Some of these like don't make sense to me. Like obviously like cone teeth made that's just goofy. I bought it because I thought it was goofy. Like for that purpose, I thought like, wow, that's so awesome. Such kind of like a novelty to have a chrome cone teeth mater. So cool. But yeah, Cho's kind of an underrated forlorn car at this point. She has been released a few times, but still not one of the most popular releases ever. I love her like butterfly pink and white design here. Always loved her blue tires. I remember exactly where I got Cho. In fact, I was on, it's actually kind of a personal story. I can't go into all the details, but I remember I was with my dad at the time and I was on the phone with my mom and I don't know how it came up, but it was like right around like maybe Christmas time or maybe not even, maybe it was like the summer and she told me she got me Cho and yeah, I remember that very distinctly. I love how even the taillights back here are in chrome. You got the exhaust pipes down there. Let's take a look at the base. So it looks like all the base markings for the most part have been wiped off, like the ones up top there and in the center. You do still have Disney Pixar China, although I do believe, again, like I said, it was made in Mexico. Factory custom, so things get a little wonky. You can see here that the rivets were filled like with some sort of epoxy. It almost looks like glue. But yeah, they're really well done. I don't question the quality of these at all. Like these are some of the like top tier factory customs you'll ever find. And look at that spoiler. Look at that immense detail even on the inside of the spoiler, which is a plastic piece. So yeah, that's really awesome. Cho, you're hot. You're sexy. I like you. All right, who will we go to next? Let's go to Lizzie. Keep the females rolling here. So this is one I absolutely had to have. I think it is my favorite of the four here, just because again of how like wacky it is. And I do like the sense that, you know, Lizzie doesn't get many variations. Like I don't really have any variations for Lizzie. I have like a custom Christmas Lizzie. I have the Precision Series Lizzie and I have this one and that's it. And that's not how it should be. There should be more Lizzie's. You know, the Disney store has never made a Lizzie. Like what? How, right? That's ridiculous. That's stupid. Have they not been able to get the Model T license? I would assume that would be the case because it's literally been since like the inception of the Disney Store line back in 2006 and they've never done it. But fortunately, Mattel has continued to put out Lizzie's for us. She has not been discontinued, unlike the Ferrari F430, for example, and seemingly some other cars as well. But yeah, that's why I really wanted to get Lizzie. She's such a cool character and looks really awesome in chrome here, even though there isn't like a ton of chrome to her. You know, the roof is still black because that's a plastic piece. The fenders and everything still black, but I feel like the minimal amount of chrome makes the chrome that is there much more profound, much more powerful. It looks so cool. The grill even being black. Oh, wow. She's awesome. You guys got to let me know. Think about what is your favorite as I'm going through these. Which is your favorite? Also, you guys know that I always ask you this like as we're going through the days here. But what are you up to? Are you done with school yet? I'm not sure. Usually December 14th is not. <laughs> it's a little too soon, unfortunately. I am actually done. Actually, all right. So I have like a final today from like 10 to 12. So when this video comes out, I usually release my videos at 11 a.m. Eastern time. I'm gonna be like knee deep in my jazz final. But after that, I am done. In fact, I am done with college. So today's actually kind of a big day. This is actually a really monster day. And not only it's the start of the 12 days of Christmas, season nine on the 10th year of my channel's existence, it's also my final day of college class. 
oh my God, I'm kind of getting emotional recording this. I'm recording this like the day after, I'm recording this on Black Friday. So there you have that. You can see that the spare tire here is a little bit refined. It's not as like bulky as this version is, but you can see the MT23 license plate. You got the taillight in the middle there. Let's take a look at the base here. Doesn't look like there's any base markings besides in the center right there and the epoxy for the rivets. I love how I just like jumped right back into reviewing this after that emotional talk. <laughs> I can't dwell on that. That is a little sad. Whoa, way too zoomy. I haven't done that in a while. All right, here we have the King. Now, I probably would say this is my favorite, but it's lenticular. Now, I don't know why some of these Chrome Customs, and they've made these for like years and years and years. Like They date back to like 2010, some of these. They have ones like Dash Boardman lenticular. They have like Luigi and Guido, Ferrari fan Luigi and Guido, Chrome, but they're lenticular. Actually, no, 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 not them because that's canceled. Yeah, the lenticular Ferrari fan Luigi and Guido were canceled, but you guys get the point. For whatever reason, a lot of these Chrome cars, even this Chick Hicks here I got a while ago, lenticular. Don't like that at all. I would definitely prefer this guy if he was the fixed size version. And I don't know honestly why they use the lenticular. Maybe they're easier. Honestly, it's very likely actually that they are. You know what? Probably actually, yeah. I'm going to make it pretty bold, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. The reason why they can't do like this chrome is because the eye plate is a part of the main metal body. And if you've noticed, everything so far has had its own like eye plate. Lizzie, Cho. Of course, the, all the Thailand cars will be easy to do because they have their own eye plates. But a lot of cars, especially back in the Chinese days, the eyes were a part of the main metal body, and so you just can't do that. But of course, all the lenticulars, like this metallic king right here, the eyes are a separate plastic piece, and so you could easily keep that in there, not have to touch it, make the rest of the body chrome. So I guess actually that's the reason for it. Look at that. We're learning as we go here. Regardless though, this still is a really awesome custom. Still looks really good. And of course goes with my Chick Hicks, which I got a while ago and I probably prefer him a little bit. I like how the eyes change on him, but yeah, that's not a bad angle. That's a bad angle. That's not a bad angle. I have seen a Chrome version of the King with like decals, but I think they were like engraved. I remember that being like a big holdup for me because I thought they were like stickers or like decals, which I thought was tacky. I didn't like the look of that, but the guy told me they were engraved into the body, which I thought is pretty cool, pretty wild. I didn't end up getting it though. I get like a few of these like every so often. Like I remember I got, what did I get? I know I got like Rip Klojgonski and Fabrizio. That was like my last batch before these four. Honestly, Rip Klitschkonski and Fabrizio are better than all four of these, at least in my humble opinion. And yet, I haven't reviewed them yet, so maybe at some point. But yeah, let's take a look at the base here. Plymouth Superbird. So yeah, you still have a little bit more base markings here. But the date stamp has been wiped off right there. Look at those presents. How exciting. And last but not least is Cone Teeth Mater, as they call him, Mater with Cone Teeth. Such a clumsy, clunky name. But yeah, again, you have the eye plate right there, so it makes it easy, I guess, to chromify this. And they even chromified the back. Like every die cast portion to <laughs> Cone Teeth Mater is made chrome. And he looks really cool. Huge fan of this. Again, not as like practical as some of the other ones. Like I feel like a chrome king just feels more like an actual release Mattel could do because it's kind of more in line with like Silver the King, but I don't know. I just had to have this one. He put up like maybe eight for sale or something like that. I chose these four. I know he did like a Doctor Mater. Like, isn't that weird? A Chrome Doctor Mater? Yeah. Didn't go with that one. Yeah, Cone Teeth Mater's been through a lot. Obviously, he was canceled multiple times. I have some of the canceled prototypes of him. I have just a raw prototype of him, actually multiples. Yeah, a really cool release when they finally were able to get him out. And I think, that, yeah, they did him in 2020 and in 2021. 
Got the plastic teeth in the mouth there, plastic cone on top. He's raised a little bit at the front, which is nice. Quite a few maters these days have that suspension raised in the front. Yeah, I'm just soaking it all in. Let's take a look at his base. He's got a lot of markings still present. When was this one made here? M32A. So the 32nd week of 2020, I guess that was. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comment section below which one is your favorite. Again, yeah, it's definitely Lizzie for me. I'm sorry. The king, my guy, if you were only non-lenticular, you would have surged up. So maybe in the future with like a tile in the king, they could make a fixed eyes version of that. The reason I got Cho is because I have like some other Tokyo Mater characters from long ago. Like I have Kabuto, I have a gold Kabuto, I have Karisu, I have almost all the tuners, I think. I don't have a Snot Riot. Yeah. Oh, I do. I think I do have all the tuners actually think so maybe not wingo i don't know whatever but yeah i have a lot of those like tuner type characters so cho fits in nicely with them and yeah lizzie's just badass all right guys thanks for watching happy holidays as always i'll see you tomorrow for day two of the 12 days of christmas